Hey y'all, today we're gonna be making some easy shrimp on our foodie grill, cause we're camping! Oh, we're having a whole lot of fun. Who says you can't eat good while you're camping? Check out that shrimp. Hi, welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes, where we're doing another foodie Friday here for RecipesThatCrock.com as well as this channel. And today we're gonna do something real easy. We are camping down at Chris's mom and dad's house. That's right, we're camping in somebody's driveway. That's okay, we're still camping. We're in the cow, it's all good. And I wanna make them something that I know they really enjoy, and that is our easy grilled shrimp. And I'm gonna try doing it on our foodie grill to see how well it does there versus like on a charcoal or on a propane grill. grill. And it goes a little something like this. You need, well, shrimp. You can't make a shrimp dish without shrimp. And all I've got is a bag of jumbo because that's what I like. You can use any, I don't think I'd use the salad shrimp, but anywhere from the 1620s to the, the 2125s is good. And that's what we're using here is the 2125s. There's two pounds of shrimp here. That should be good enough for at least for an appetizer for lunch. And then also what I'm gonna use with that is some extra virgin olive oil, about two tablespoons. And I say about because I'm not gonna use exact measurements here. I'm just gonna use enough olive oil to coat the shrimp. And then you can have your choice. You can either use what I do is the like some kind of a seasoning salt like Lowry's or if you want to make it more like an authentic uh, southern style you can use the Old Bay seasoning which is really good on seafood and I think what I might do today is mix the two and I'll use probably about I'd say a tablespoon a pound so about two tablespoons and I think I'm gonna mix and match so I'll use a tablespoon of Old Bay and a tablespoon of Lowry's now here's the deal you're gonna think that's a lot of seasoning it really is however these shrimp still have the shell on them so most of that seasoning isn't going to get in on the meat it's going to stay on the shrimp really you're getting your seasoning by licking your fingers so i'm not going to worry too much about it and then so that we don't have a lot of dishes to do in the camper because we are dry camping which means we're not hooked up to any system to dump i am going to use a baggie that way i can just throw this all away when it's over so i'm going to do is transfer you know i just thought of something I don't need to use this baggie because this is a sealable bag. So this is even better. I'll take my two tablespoons or so of extra virgin olive oil. There's about one and there's about two. And really all I'm trying to do is get that coated with a little bit of fat. And then I'll take about a tablespoon of the Lowry's to get that all over the shrimp. And again, that's more or less just gonna coat the shells more than get inside the meat. Now if I was to let that sit and marinate, it would soak in a little bit more, but that's fine. And then make sure I don't pop the wrong top off here. We're gonna put, well, let's go to the other side. About a tablespoon-ish of Old Bay. Now I gotta be careful with that because Old Bay is a very, very powerful seasoning, but it's really, really good. I'm gonna take that in this resealable shrimp bag. And I'm gonna do this for a little bit and so that we don't have to stand there and watch me do it, I'll speed up the tape. And that's it, that's food prep for this. So I've got my Ninja Foodie Grill all heated up on a medium heat. It doesn't need to be super high, which I think here is about 450 degrees. And I'm just gonna start tossing my shrimp on, one by one and grill them up until these guys are pink on the outside on the shells and the meat is opaque, which means you can't see through it. It'll be a pure white meat. And I think this foodie grill should be big enough. I don't mind if these shrimp touch at all because the heat's coming from the grate itself. It's okay if the shrimp touch, it's not like they're really gonna stick together. I'm gonna see if I can get this whole bag in here. See just how big of a tank this foodie grill is. So we're down here at Chris's mom and dad's and we hadn't seen them in a while with everything that's going on. We really miss them. And Aunt Lou was down here. She just taped the recipe a little bit ago and we really, realize that we really do miss camping so here's to hoping things can clear up good enough to where we can start going back out on the road again I really do miss seeing all the new places and some familiar faces some crock posse members we try to meet along the way 
Who knows, next trip that might be you. Well, it is getting a little tight in there. I don't know if I can get this entire bag in there or not, because I want the shrimp to actually touch the grates. I've probably got about 10 shrimp left. I think I'm just going to stop right there. My handy dandy wiping rag off. And I'm going to let this go. Like I said, what we want to do is cook it until the shrimp is pink on the outside and opaque in the middle. So we'll definitely have to flip it over once. And we'll see how long that takes in three, two, one. All right, it's been about two and a half minutes. Let's check on our shrimp. All right, you see they're pinking up on one side, and that's because this foodie grill uh, has got a fan blowing in it, so it's still gonna circulate that heat to the other side. But it's the bottoms that are already cooked up. So we're gonna flip all this over. I can tell you right now, this smells super, super, super good. But I'm gonna continue flipping all this shrimp over. I'm gonna cook it again on the other side for one to two minutes until it all turns opaque. And you can see how that shrimp is starting to split open. That's a good sign. That means it's cooking up really well. So let's give it about two more minutes after I flip this over and we'll have some shrimp ready to go. And just like that, in another two, two and a half minutes, our shrimp is done and it's ready to come out so I can get that second batch. But I got a crowd around me here that's ready for the first batch. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. And again, I'm a bigger fan of the bigger shrimp. The bigger the shrimp, the better. I just like the way they chew up. Chris likes the a little bit smaller, maybe a medium-sized shrimp. I like little shrimp steaks. But my goodness, that right there is about three quarters of that bag is what it held. So about a pound and a half of shrimp is what it'll do at one time, it looks like. And I'll finish up the rest of this while they're eating. Maybe I can have that other half pound of myself. But y'all check this out. Who says you can't eat good while you're camping? Check out that shrimp. See how it's all pink on the outside? It's opaque in the middle. In fact, this one just became mine. And all you gotta do, just peel them skins off like that. And it's ready to go. That was a tablespoon of Old Bay seasoning and a tablespoon of Lowry salt mixed together with about two tablespoons of olive oil. And I'm gonna see how fast I can run because I might just run off with that plate by myself because it is that good. Y'all, that was easy shrimp done in our Ninja Foodie Grill. That could be done camping, that could be done at home, wherever you want. But I'm thinking, I'm gonna have to get started on maybe some Mexican street corn. Go with that and make it a meal for myself. But if you like what you're seeing here, make sure that you give us a thumbs up down below. If you are not a member of the Crock Posse already, make sure you click that subscribe button. And next to it is the ding -a That ding -a lets you two know that you wanna see them videos as soon as they come out. So make sure you click that and whatever you do, laugh often, eat good food, and speak life. Bye, y'all. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon link below.